Hello students how are you I hope all are fine Today we will see chapter number 6 in standard 7th subject science Chapter name is physical and chemical changes In the previous video part 2 we have seen up to main 7 and we have seen this about um, before this video we have seen two part part 1 and part 2 today we'll see part 3 of this chapter see today we'll see main 8 write two points of difference two marks each now physical change difference between physical change and a chemical change so the point 1 in a physical change is physical properties like shape volume color state of the substance change and in the chemical change chemical properties of the substance change now point 2 substance with a new properties are not formed okay and here substance with a new properties are formed number 3 they are generally reversible changes and here they are generally irreversible changes now we will see the main 9 classify it carries four marks Now see the classify the following changes in the physical change and chemical change. First of all, we will see the uh, first of all we will see the sub so that the given properties. Okay. Now see to get crystal from solutions of common salt, rusting of iron, to make magnet from iron, conversion of water into steam. to prepare saturated solution of copper sulfate to explore fire crackers galvanization photosynthesis digestion of food mixing of magnesium oxide with water neutralization reaction and to color iron here now from this we will have to uh, classify it into physical change and chemical change so first of all we will see the physical change physical change to get crystal from solution of common salt then to make a magnet from iron then conversion of water into steam then to prepare saturated solution of copper sulfate then galvanization and to color iron now chemical change in that rusting of iron to explore fire crackers photosynthesis digestion of food mixing of magnesium oxide with water neutralization reactions these are the chemical changes now we will see the main ten match the following properly write the alphabet index of column b in answer box four marks it carries four marks now see first of all column a in that number 1 copper sulfate number 2 iron sulfate number 3 calcium carbonate number 4 magnesium and in the column b a metal b brown color c green color d insoluble in water and e blue color now see number 1 number 1 copper sulfate match with the e it's a blue color iron sulfate c green color calcium carbonate d insoluble in water magnesium a it's a metal now we will see the next page Now see main 11 answer the following questions in a detail it carries four marks each number 1 describe how crystals of copper sulfate are prepared answer is the method to obtain crystals of copper sulfate is as follows number 1 take a cup full of water in a beaker and add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid point 2 heat the water heat it till it boils Number three. Now go on adding copper sulfate powder slowly while stirring continuously. Point four. Continue adding copper sulfate powder till no more powder can be dissolved. This solution is called saturated solution. Number five. Leave this solution undisturbed for some hours. Point six. Check the solution after some time whether crystals are formed or not. And next point is blue-colored crystals are seen in the solution of a copper 
sulfate. Now see the question number 2. State the remedies to prevent iron from rusting. Answer is the remedies to prevent iron from rusting are as follows. Number 1. On applying paint or oil or grease, iron does not come in direct contact with air or moisture. Point 2. To deposit a thin layer of metal like zinc or chromium on iron, the rusting of iron is prevented. Point 3. To prevent the rusting of iron plates of seed, they are joined with a big slabs of more reactive metal like zinc or magnesium and slabs are replaced periodically. Point 4. Stainless steel is made by mixing iron with carbon and metals like chromium, nickel and magnesium. Mag manganese. It does not rust. Now we will see the next page. See the activities in that number 1 to show that the steam rising from the surface of water is a physical change. Now it's a procedure. Boil some water in a container that the, in a regularly we have done in our home. See the steam rising from the surface of water. Hold an inverted pan by its handle over the steam above from the boiling water. Observe the inner surface of the pan. Observation is water droplets are seen on the inner surface of the pan. And in conclusion is the change in the state of a substance is a physical change. Now see the number 2 to show that burning of magnesium is a physical change. Now the procedure. Take a small piece of a thin ribbon of mag mag magnesium. Clean it steep with a sandpaper. Bring the ribbon near a candle flame. It burns with a brilliant white light. When it is completely burnt, it leaves behind a white powdery ash. Now see, the equation is magnesium means 2 mg plus oxygen O2 gives magnesium oxide 2 mg O. Question, it is dangerous to look directly and for long time at the burning magnesium strip. Observation is this S is magnesium oxide which is a new substance other than magnesium. Conclusion is burning of magnesium is a chemical change. Now we will see the next page. See the number 3 to show that change noticed on putting an iron nail in copper sulphate solution is a chemical change. Now see here it is a beakers we can able to see uh, two beakers are that in the Number 1, it is a initial state and here it is a final state. In that first beaker, iron nail is in the beaker. Okay. And uh, solution is copper sulphate solution and it is a blue color solution. And here, iron sulphate solution, it is a green color solution. Iron nail remove and it is a brown color. Now, see here we can able to see that it is a chemical reaction that change. Okay, that blue color changes into green color. Why? This copper sulfate solution and it's convert into, due to the iron nail, it's convert into iron sulfate solution. Now see the procedure. Take a glass beaker and fill about a half cup of water in it. Dissolve about a teaspoon, teaspoon of, teaspoonful of copper sulfate to prepare its solution. Add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to the solution you will get a blue colored solution save a small sample of the solution in the test tube drop a nail or a iron blade into the remaining solution wait for half an hour now observe the color of the solution compare it with the color of the sample solution saved separately keep it aside carefully now the observation the change of color of solution from blue to green is due to the formation of iron sulfate the reddish brown deposit on the surface of the table uh, blade is a copper, another new substance. And a chemical equation is the copper sulphate which is blue plus iron. This iron nail means plus iron gives iron sulphate which is green plus copper. 
reddish brown deposit now conclusion is that change noticed on putting an iron blade in copper sulfate solution is a chemical change now see the next page see the number 4 to show that the change occurring on mixing vinegar acetic acid and baking soda sodium bicarbonate is a chemical change now see here it's a two test tube and the two test tubes are there in this vinegar plus baking soda is there and in another uh, test tube lime water and the bubbles are of carbon dioxide and here it's a bent tube is there okay now see the procedure take about a teaspoon full of vinegar in a test tube here you have to take in a one test tube full of vinegar okay and then add a pinch of baking soda to it bubbles of gas are coming out number 4 pass this gas through the freshly prepared lime water observe what happens to the lime water from this bent tube from this bent tube bent tube you have to pass the gas okay so here we can able to see the gas observed this the bubbles are formed which of carbon dioxide observation lime water turns milky now the reason for this is a chemical reaction between vinegar and baking soda take place and bubbles of carbon dioxide are coming out point to chemical reaction between carbon dioxide and lime water takes place and calcium carbonate is formed calcium carbonate is a white substance insoluble in water which makes lime water milky and conclusion is that changing occurring on mixing vinegar and baking soda is a chemical reaction now we will see the next chapter in the next video stay safe stay healthy okay bye here your chapter is completed